In this experiment, we will determine the molar solubility product constant, or KSP, of calcium hydroxide. We will do this by doing an acid-base titration of calcium hydroxide against hydrochloric acid. So your expected outcomes from this experiment will be to calculate the molar solubility of a solution, determine the KSP of a molecule, and then also to interpret the effect of an added common ion to the molar solubility of a solution. So let's look at our materials for today. Now let's get started. Here is an itemized list of all the materials that you'll need for this experiment. Place the 25 milliliter flask on the balance and record the mass in the data table. Measure 3 milliliters of lime water with the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. Pour the lime water into the flask. Record the exact mass of the flask with the lime water. Add five drops of methyl orange to the three milliliters of calcium hydroxide. The color should be yellow. Fill the syringe with hydrochloric acid by drawing the plunger back. Try to minimize the amount of air in the syringe. Record the initial volume of hydrochloric acid solution in the syringe to the nearest 0.01 milliliters. Read the volume of the syringe at the edge of the plunger. Place the flask containing the 3 milliliters of calcium hydroxide on a white sheet of paper. The white background will make the color change more noticeable. Add HCl dropwise from the syringe with constant swirling of the flask until a single drop of HCl causes a color change that persists for 20 to 30 seconds after addition. This indicates the end point has been reached. The solution should be faintly orange or orange-red in color. Once the endpoint has been reached, record the final volume of HCl left in the syringe. Dispose of the titrated calcium hydroxide sample in the sink. Rinse the 25 milliliter flask with bottled water and then repeat the steps 1 through 13 for trials two and three. Carefully remove the tip of the lime water bottle. Place the bottle on the balance and tear the balance. You want to add 0.02 to 0.04 grams of calcium chloride to the bottle. Be very careful when measuring the calcium chloride because you don't want to overshoot the amount that you need. Reinsert the dropper tip and recap the bottle. Shake thoroughly. Allow the bottle to sit for approximately 10 minutes. Place the 25 milliliter flask on the balance and record the mass in the data table. Measure three milliliters of the solution containing both calcium hydroxide and calcium chloride. 
Pour the three milliliters of the solution into the flask. Record the exact mass of the flask plus the solution in the data table. Add five drops of methyl orange to the solution. Fill the syringe with hydrochloric acid, again trying to minimize the amount of air in the syringe. Record the initial volume of hydrochloric acid solution in the data table. Place the flask containing the 3 milliliters of solution over the white paper. Then begin to add hydrochloric acid dropwise from the syringe with constant swirling of the flask until a single drop of hydrochloric acid causes a color change that persists for 20 to 30 seconds after addition. Once the endpoint has been reached, record the final volume of hydrochloric acid in the syringe in the data table. Dispose of the titrated solution sample in the sink, rinse the 25 milliliter flask, and repeat steps 7 through 19 for trials 2 and 3. Record all of your data and perform your calculations. This concludes the experiment. Dispose of the titrated samples in the sink, clean and dry the flask, and return it to the equipment kit. The used chemical bottles can be rinsed and disposed of in the trash.